Hello everyone! I am going to make a Halloween video today, so uh, let's get to it. First of all, I am going to make candy corns. So I took some white, some orange and some yellow clay and I stacked it together like you see here. And then I am dragging it out to the side, slowly working it, uh, keeping it in a triangle where the white part is uh, the edge and the yellow part is the back side of the triangle. And then I'm just carefully dragging it out, making this into a very long and very thin cane. When I'm ready, I am going to take my X-Acto knife and cut off some small slices of this cane. And I am using my finger to make sure that the shape is like I want it to. I'm doing this with all of my cane before I am going to bake it. You can leave some of the cane as is and bake it for only 5 minutes so you can cut it later if you want to, but then you won't be able to correct the size and the shape of the uh, cutting out pieces. Here I am using some rest clay that I am flattening out and the first one here is going to be a little ghost. So I am cutting out this really really small ghost of this clay and I have this little hole cutter that I am going to do the lower part of the ghost with. Making the eyes and the nose and placing that to the side. Taking another piece of rest clay and pushing it flat, from this we are going to make a little pumpkin. So I'm just shaping the pumpkin like I want it to be. And I do want a little stem on it, so I am using another piece of clay to do that and then placing the two things together, like shown. I want to make some lollipops with these, so I found an eye pin and cut them into length. And here I made the mistakes of using some super glue gel to glue these small pieces of metal to my decoration. Um, the super glue is not working together with my mold putty, so I later did this over and using some hot glue to glue the pin in place, but from the end of it, not near the lollipops itself. Then I take a strip of paper and I tape the ends together into this loop and I hot glue that all around these lollipops, making sure that the hot glue is covering uh, all the way around so that I don't have my mold putty running out later. I am using my platinum silicone rubber I really love this mold putty as you can use it together with the UV resin without anything not curing it in, in the mold. So after mixing these two parts one to one and really mixing it good, I carefully pour it into the mold and leave it standing to harden and it takes around half an hour to an hour. So just leave it for long enough and you should have a very nice mold. Then I just unwrap this mold and I save my original creations here for another time so I can always make a new mold. What I actually did later because this one was not working as I wanted it to. I have these small plastic beams from Green Stuff World. This is actually hexagons. I cut them into strips of one centimeter and I'm going to place them in the mold like you see right here. For the pumpkin, I am taking my UV resin from Sophie and Toffee 
and then some orange pigment and a tiny bit of a red pigment as well to make this into a little darker orange than this one is. Just mixing it together and then filling up the pumpkin mold with this. For the mold I have this white pre-made uh, UV resin, again from Sophie and Sophie, so I just need to put that in there and it's perfect. Now to the UV light. Take them out of the mold and you can make some more if you want to. I also have this little basket mold, again from Sophie and Sophie, what can I say, I like that company. And I'm just going to fill it up with some black resin. I just took some UV resin and put in some black uh, pigments and mixed that together. Now I'm just filling up the mold. Then I am closing the mold. This is a 3D mold like this. And then I'm going to put it under my UV light. And I'm first doing it two minutes on one side, then turning it over and doing it two minutes on the other side then you can demold this little basket i'm using some black paint and i am painting the eyes and the mouth on the little ghost lollipops Thank you for watching my video. This was all there was to it today. Please give it a like. It means a lot to me because it will show the algorithm that you like this kind of content. So please do that. Subscribe if you didn't do that. And I will see you next week. Anyway, have a nice day. See you next time. Happy crafting.